thought I'd do a follow-up on my uh, HQ 400 mill lathe drill. Uh, I had a few questions that have come in and I thought I'd just answer a couple of the questions, the common questions. First one is how do you oil the spindle? And that's in the back. See this plate here? It's got four screws. Uh, basically you just take that off. There's a, there's a square opening here. You just fill it up until it just starts to come out of that opening. Now I, I've been thinking about doing something where I can have a, a tube or something that comes out of here that comes around to the front and then has like a little sight glass on the front. Uh, I think that's a better design. That way I can I can also top it off up here and uh, check it all the time up from up there. The second question was about the chuck. How do you get the chuck off? You need an Allen wrench and you need to modify the Allen wrench. You see that's cut down quite a bit. A six millimeter Allen wrench, it goes back into a cap head screw and then I modified the other side of it or you could get one that's like this, that's a ball end. And that allows you to get in here and get it out the rest of the way. Uh, there's three screws back here. Like I said, there's six millimeter cap heads. Basically, once you get them once you get them backed off a little bit, it's pretty easy to screw them out. It's a really bad design though because you got kind of got to do it at an angle. But once you get them a little ways, you can also get in there by hand and do it. So it's not that bad. Uh, make sure you hold on to the chuck. The chuck is keyed on to this backing plate here. Um, you can see this piece. This is a this is just a face plate that I made, and it's got a a register here that it keys on. Uh, and that was actually the second, the third question was about face plates. Can you make face plates? Yes, you can make face plates. Of course, uh, this one was it's for anything, but basically it's to, to mount a solid piece of aluminum onto that has got these bolt holes that are drilled a set distance, and I'll show you what that makes. Um, it's a little manifold for a uh, for a Honda motorcycle, and this hole is actually tapered because the hole going into the engine and the uh, carburetor are two different sizes. It was a modification that I made. So um, as far as the bolt hole pattern, it's a pretty standard bolt hole pattern I believe. It's it's like three inches .30 um, for three holes. Um, Shars sells a four inch chuck that fits that. Um, just about everybody's that sells the, the little four inch chucks. I, I believe they're all, if they have three holes, they're on a bolt circle that's three inches and .30. As far as making a, a four jaw for it, well, I wanted a four jaw and I actually looked around and I couldn't find one that would just fit it. So, you see this base plate here. This is for a six inch four jaw chuck, which is right here. Now this is probably too big for this machine, but I was going to give it a try. I got the chuck really cheap. Um, it's a little battered, but it does work. This base plate obviously is for a screw and spindle. And I cut the bolt hole pattern here. And then my future plan is to go ahead and cut off of this. This boss here. And then this will be a flat plate that the six jaw chuck or the four jaw chuck will mount to, and then it'll screw right on. I screwed up my calculations here a little bit, so I have to actually redo these hole, redo these mounting holes. So that'll be a future video. Um, this is actually comes out a little bit of century when it runs. As far as finding a four jaw chuck for a four inch four jaw chuck that'll fit right on here, I have not had any luck because. Most, most of all the four draw chucks that I've seen mount with four, four bolts. See there, there's four mounting bolts. So kind of you know, crap out of luck for that. Uh, if anybody does find one, please let me know because I would be interested in it. Another question was, is the spindle, is it tapered? So that you can use uh, taper attachments like this kind of taper attachment 
And the answer is yes, it is Morse Taper 3, which again, I tried to say in the previous video is kind of silly because the tailstock is Morse Taper 2, and the spindle and the, chuck, the uh, mill chuck or uh, mill spindle is Morse Taper 3, which means you need different tooling for the for the tailstock and the mill ch mill spindle, so kind of silly. Uh, I've also had uh, some questions on the quick change tool post. Uh, this is a Ball Star, and I've actually had really good luck with it. You can see everything's wet out here today. This is it's like 70 degrees in Georgia on December 31st, so everything is wet. But anyway, um, good luck with the bow with the Bowstar. It's done real well. Uh, it comes with, uh, I believe, four uh, tool post attachments. The other question I had on a forum was, how do you, how do I lock lock this cross slide? And basically, if you look right here, there's a there's a, a piece of a Allen wrench. And that goes into the center bolt on the uh, cross slide that holds the gib in. And that is actually made to tighten up just like this handle tightens up the tailstock. So you can just back it off and tighten it that way. That makes the machine a lot more rigid. This machine is rigid, but you have to make sure that you tighten up your whatever slot whatever slide you're not using when you use it because it does have a lot of it will have a lot of movement in it otherwise anyway guys that's uh, about all I have just a quick video to show you uh, a couple little things that I've been asked and uh, happy new year to you all and thanks for watching and thanks to all the subscribers I got this year I actually got a hundred over a hundred subscribers now which is pretty pretty cool um, most of those have come in the last 90 days and um, I do appreciate it and have a good uh, have a good new year and we'll see you in the new year. Thanks a lot. Bye.